Constance Slaughter Harvey sits inside her office in Forest, Mississippi, surrounded by thousands of books and more awards than you can count. She's held a number of titles throughout the years, but one puts her name in the history books forever. Did you know you were making history? I don't seek fame. I don't seek to be first. I seek to make a difference. And that she did. In 1970, she became the first black woman to graduate from law school at the University of Mississippi. And in 1976, Constance became the first black woman appointed to serve as a judge in the state. Nearly five decades later, she could see the first black woman on the Supreme Court, a move she says took far too long. It's about politics. Black woman is going to be appointed to the Supreme Court because black women delivered. And thanks to Stace Abrams, the world knows that. But I would hope that, you know, none of us would say, well, we have overcome, because we have not. Constance lived through the civil rights movement. She says seeing the murder of George Floyd at the hands of a police officer reminded her of the same police brutality she saw many years ago. My response is that, no, it's not surprising to me. I represented clients from Tougaloo whose necks were on the ground, whose afros were cut, who's, who's had a fault fork stuck up their nose until it bled. I represented young people who were killed because they were walking across the street, going home after working all night, going home to share the money with their mothers. These life experiences were etched into her mind throughout her career, from an attorney to a prosecutor to becoming Assistant Secretary of State during the Mabus administration. Constance is now just one month away from retirement, but her work is far from over. This is Legacy Education and Community Empowerment Foundation. This is where we have the children to come and play and read. This is where her nonprofit works to educate children in and around Scott County. She believes knowing our history is crucial to building a better future. That is her wish for the next generation. And my dream is to see all forms of discrimination eliminated, all forms. And I won't stop, even if I'm in a wheelchair or if I'm blind or heaven forbid lose my mind. To me, you are a part of black history. Well, I'm black and I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting in Forest, Cecil Hannibal, 16, WAPT News.